what we've asked for the people that are volunteering to help us and the ones that we work with is, you know, kind of stay on standby. Uh, we, we may need to scale this. It may be fine for a few days and then people uh, are ready to talk or need to talk and we may need to call in some additional counselors at that point. Superintendent Eric Richard says 10 counselors were on hand today, some of them coming from neighboring school districts to help and they'll be there as long as needed. Richard says the support from communities near and far has been overwhelming, including a Sunday night vigil where hundreds of people gathered on the field, the same place where the quarterback collapsed Friday night. Ethan Conto was one of Mason's coaches as well as a dentist at Chicora Dental Care, one of the countless businesses showing their support for the quarterback, the entire staff wearing school colors, purple and gold. Conto said, like Mason's family, the team is asking for prayers. Obviously, they were uh, pretty broken up Friday into Saturday, and uh, they're rallying behind him and doing everything they can, showing their support, and really just praying for him and for their, for their teammate and friend to get better. There's a GoFundMe set up for Mason's family as he continues to recover from his injuries. For more information, just go to our website at WTAE.com. <laughs>